Whoa. Got disconnected again. Let's go into the crypts also. Don't scream. Think everything will be okay. Don't worry. So let's study. If I go left, I can't go right. I mean, the, 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 the paths don't converge further down. Okay, now that I know a little thing or two now about the lens, let's go back and review every single lens we have. This one is... I can see that this lance has the characteristic shape of a spear. It spear is made of iron. Iron? And its tip is engraved with a cross. It is in this one then. How about this one? I can see that this lance has a so-called leaf shape. It is made entirely of iron. I can see that the tip is engraved with the symbol of the sun. Neither of those. And Gris says, is it talking about the Spear Longinus? Yes, it is. <clears throat> We're trying to find it. Also, welcome to the stream, Gris. How are you doing today? And then it says, my dog, your net is crashing, dog. Yeah, it seems like it is. It sucks, it should not be crashing. I apologize for that, everyone. But in a way, it's kind of good that today's stream won't go as far as it could have gone. We won't be able to get anything done with this this condition. But there was a spear all the way in the end here. What about it? Where is it even? All the way here. The ground that I think not here. It's a spear is a leaf shaped, so it is in this one. I can see that this spear has a a so-called leaf shape, it is copper rimmed. I can see the tip is engraved with the symbol of the eye of Ra. This isn't it. And Felino, you said that it's disconnecting you from chat too. Yes, I'm seeing. There's a lot of disconnection messages going on here. Way too many messages. Okay, I'm just gonna find this spear, complete this chapter, and then that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the stream because we will not be able to. to oh, it will cut a lot of stuff if we keep going on like this. I think it's best we cut our losses and. just finished this chapter here which has a search for the spear which is somewhere over here it's one of these many spears lying laying on the ground I just have to keep in mind of where I have already been to where I have not been to Felino you said that Twitch is trying to shut us down yes it might be Talk them Twitch. But this is leaf shaped, so it isn't this, but let's double check it. Wouldn't, wouldn't this spear have a cross? Apparently not. It has the symbol of the fish. Well, here we can see this lance has a leaf shape, is gold rimmed, and a fish is engraved on the tip. This isn't it. That is most certainly not it. What about this one? This lance has got a blade in the shape of a spear. Check. Its blade is in iron or steel, I think. Check. I can make out a rising sun engraved on the tip. No, that's wrong. That's not it. So we have been through there, through there, and all the way up here. Let's check the end of this path and eliminate those last spears in here. I'm gonna bet it's on the very end of this place. What is this? More royal jelly? My Honey, dog. the remedy of the gods. Well, we can see that this lance has 
a particular spear shape. Shed. It is coated in gold. No. You can distinguish the symbol of the fish engraved on the tip, barely noticeable. That's not it. Apparently, the spear Longinus does not have gold in it. Was well, a very humble soldier, centurion rather. He didn't have gold. He didn't have the swag in his crisp killing weapons. So now we're on to the last path. Let's find more spears lying around all over the place. Let's see what we can make out of that. It is also leaf shaped, so it's probably not this one. We can see that this lance has a leaf shape, and well, it's in gold. I can see that a crucifix is engraved on the tip, just barely visible. Also, there's nothing here. At least I think every single spear is on the path. None of them are hidden away. So I'm hard to hard to reach and or find place. What about you? I think your you leaf shaped too. And Gris says so copper or wood is your best choice. Let's take a look at this lance here. It has a very special leaf shape. It is copper rimmed and I can see a fish symbol engraved on the tip. This almost could be it, but I don't think it is spear headed your head shape. Uh, according to Volner's as information, the lance is copper rimmed. The exerge is mentions a shiny metal. Piagi told me it was the shape of a boar spear. In the biography of Longinus, the centurion the lance is described as being engraved with the symbol of a fish on the tip. What is a boar spear? Let, let's Google that. Wait, what? Apparently the boar spear is the long one. That could be it. I don't know, the internet does not seem to be very conclusive about that. What about this one? Um, I can see that this lance has the shape of a boar spear. Yes. The blade is partially coated in copper. Yes. I can just make out the symbol of the eye of Ra engraved on the tip. No. That's not it. What about you, though, little friend? I can see this lance has a spear shape. It is copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. This is it. I have found it. Let's leave it there, by the way. I don't know if it, if when we grab it, some some evil shenanigans will activate or or what. This lance has a leaf shape. It is copper rimmed. The symbol of the Christian fish is engraved on the tip. So this could also be it. If what? But apparently we know now that the boar shape is the long one, not the wide one. I can see that this lance has a so-called leaf shape. It is clearly made of iron, and I can make out a sun engraved on the tip. Alright, so it's the one in the altar. Very inconspicuous. I would never notice that one in there. What with the fire and the braziers all over the place distracting me from it. And now that we are here we can... The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. Yes, we can get all the... Let's see what we can find the honey here. honey that was inside. One, two, three honey. <laughs> Ha! Great! Now let's see what's inside. More honey. Is it? How has the game cheated me of honey? Oh my god. I have been bamboozled. Fuck them the game. Also, hello there, Bronze Tiger. Welcome to the stream. We're playing the council. Thank you so very much for the raid. 
How's it going? I'm work work to you too. Happy Wednesday. How's it going? What? How was your stream? What sort of shenanigans were you playing? You delicious feline friend. What about this lance? It's got a spear shape. Yes. And the blade is partly made of copper. A barely visible crucifix is engraved on the blade. No, that's not it. It's that one over there. Let's grab it and run because I, I am almost sure that as soon as I get it, some bad shit is gonna go down. I am almost sure. But look at this. They're clear like this is it. This is the one. Grab me. But knowing this game, it's possible that they are trying to bamboozle me again, like they did last chapter, so who knows even. And Bronze, I say good good, hope you were having a good time in your game, it was playing Project Hospital, oh my god. Tell me more about it. Is it good? Is, is it fun? I can see this lance has a spear shape, it's copper rimmed, Checks. and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. Checks, and it has the best texture of all of them. I must be sure of my choice. I cannot get it wrong. Am I absolutely sure this is the one to take? Move back. Choose this lens. What a weird camera choice, by the way. Yeah, I think that this is it. I almost. I mean, I have thoroughly looked all over the place. I am almost sure that this is it. It has to be it. Infiltrator is the trait where I, where I get if I have chosen the Holy Lance. I get one point in occultism and conviction. Join my mother at the wharf. And miraculously, no bad shit is going down. Yet. That should start at any second. I hope it doesn't. Please don't start. Look, we're almost out of here. There we go. Whoa. I'm back to the wharf. And Bronze said it's quite detailed in a way, plus not so great tutorial. Oh no. Uh, but once you understand the technique of of the game, it's fun. But then you like, but then you like your managing game. Oh yeah, you have you have yet to teach me how to play that game, which goes by the name of um, what, what was it called again? Cataclysm: Dark Days Ahead. Because that one, it was so full of micromanaging that it could not even get it started but I mean yeah if you like that sort of micromanaging game then I'm sure Dark Days Ahead and Project Hospital and not, on others would be fun have you ever tried uh, Dwarf Fortress I hear, I hear I hear people saying that it's amazing and Bad Aim Kun says the only managing game you've played is Roller Coaster Tycoon Tycoon. I have played this first and the third. I like the first so so much. I wish I could play it again someday. And Sam says hello, greetings, Mr. Douglas and everyone. How are you all? You had chores to do, so I got here late. A new command. Yes, we have a couple new commands. We have the exclamation meow and the exclamation squeak. Two new sound commands. Well, it should be working. I don't think it's working because the good boy bot got disconnected, probably. No, it is working, so... What the heck? Is... What? Good boy bot? What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you not working? Oh, I guess I, 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 I screwed it up. I have to do this. There we go. Yes, there we go. Now it should be working. 
sorry, I, I didn't generate the commands. There you go. Now the now now the squeak and the meow sound should be working. Sorry about that, everyone. Sorry about that. But anyway, uh, uh, Sam, we uh did the, the, the streams. Don't worry about getting here late. We. We didn't do a whole lot of progress today because I finished the first level but I got the bad ending where I got my arm chopped off so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna scrub and replay the, the entire episode again so I replayed the last episode which um, which took me one hour and then I spent the other hour two hours almost two hours doing this one here which just finished and my internet has been kind of weird it's disconnecting quite a lot. And and yeah, I don't know why it's disconnecting so much, but but um yeah, you didn't miss much. And also, I like I said, I'm going to I, I, I said I was gonna end the stream one hour earlier, but then I decided to end as soon as this episode was over. So let's just see what's the introduction to the next episode, and then that's it for today, everyone. And also, to, like I said, tomorrow I will not I will not be streaming because I will be away renewing my documents. And Bronze, you, you play Dwarf Fortress quite a lot too. How how do you like it? I tried getting into it, but it's so complicated. My dog. I don't even know if it's worth spending a couple of days learning it. It's just so complicated. And Bad Aim Kun says the second was the best for you. The second Roller Coaster Tycoon. I, I, maybe it was. I didn't. And I never played Roller Coaster Tycoon too. And Gris says, what clue could you have missed to find the spear? I don't know. Maybe some painting, some book. I don't know. I didn't explore the entirety of the mansion. It's a huge mansion. And Sam says, "Why does Good Boy Bot always die? He wasn't dead. He was. I just hadn't set up the command properly. But yeah, this quick command should be working. I don't know why it isn't. Then again, there is a little cooldown between you, you people using one command and then another. So yeah, this quick command should work. And Tiger says, "Yes." And Sam says, "Oh, I see. We will send your lonely farewells then." Don't worry, we still have a little bit to do. And su I successfully chosen the lens of Longinus. I convinced Cardinal Piaget to help me. I succeed in extract. Oh boy. That's <laughs> a loud noise. It scared me, Yoni. Uh, I succeeded in extracting all the information from Von Volner. I explored the crypts of the Mortmerdus, theoretically. And I found all the copies of the lens of Longinus kept by Lord Mortmer. They were all in there. I failed, however, to not. Ha I have not found all the clues enabling me to identify the lens of Longinus, but I got the right one in the end, so it doesn't matter. And alternatively, this was it. I wonder if this is the only way to get here, because theoretically, I could not have sided with my mother. I could have sided with Sir Mortimer. And I wonder if it is possible that someone else had. The, the spear with them at some point, but anyway. Felino said the hooray for cats! Hooray for big cats! And Gris says a picture would use would be useful to make sure, besides following everyone else's description. Maybe. And Bad Aim Kun says he was expecting a mouse squeak, not a squeaky toy, but a squeaky toy is so much more fun. Yes, it also is take, always takes me by surprise. Anyway. I didn't. I did not level up. I'm afraid. But that's it. I got an achievement. Leap of fate. I'm already pressed for time as it is. <clears throat> Mother's waiting for me on the wharf. Mother, I'll get to you, mother. And now the only thing I can read is this book on manipulation, conviction, and occultism. But I already have occultism and manipulation, so conviction. Don't do me that good. God damn you, game. 
Oh well. And also because I didn't level up, I can only choose a book to read. So let's read that and and keep going. A cult mastery. Oh boy, what is that? The talent. A cult mastery. Ending an opportunity successfully will now return one effort point to you. That's great. But there's so much more I could get. For whatever reason, the game has highlighted the alchemist and the book lover for me. I don't know why. But I should look into those anyway. And there might be more traits in the future for me. Hard to say for sure. But anyway. There's so much more to do now. It will take a while for us to to get this whole thing going. Let's go back to the menu. <clears throat> so episodes wise we're in episode 12 which is farewell and then there's episode 13 the first time don't know what's up with those I mean chapter chapter 12 and chapter 13 then we're done with episode 4 maybe we'll complete that next time and then there's last episode which is episode 5 with uh, Holmes's face in the back Probably he's the, he's the pivotal character in that little story. I don't know what will happen with him though, but shit will go down, I believe. But that is it for today everyone. Like I said, the stream will end an, an hour earlier, because I have to go check documents. And then tomorrow there will be no stream because I will also be out checking documents. But I will maybe, maybe I will also take the time tomorrow to go and watch the new Spider-Man movie. You guys over there in America, you already have seen Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse and whatnot. But for us in here, this movie only releases in theaters tomorrow, so it was impossible for us to see that movie before, before well, until up until today, up until tomorrow, it is impossible for us to see the movie. So maybe I'll do that, maybe tomorrow we'll go out into the movies and watch Spider-Man and see how that goes. But yeah, but that aside, I will be back on Friday for sure with a stream, possibly with a better internet. I don't know if I'll be still playing the console or if I'm gonna change back into uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, one or the other, I don't even know. And and yeah, those are the things that which I will be doing next time. Next time being Friday. Other than that, as always, thank you guys so very much for being here, for watching the stream, for supporting it, for being awesome as all of you are. And I hope you guys have a delightfully delicious day of the weddings. Because I know I will. Or rather, I have had thus far and possibly will in the future. A bad aim cool says I still had fun watching. You'll be able to catch Friday stream if you're live at 10 a.m. your time. I don't know what time is your time, but who knows even. And Felino says bye y'all, bye to you too, Felino, bye Nathan, bye everyone. Thank you guys so very much for being here today. I'm sorry for you know cutting the stream short, but like always I I will try and find time to replace those streams that ended earlier who knows even who knows impossible to say for sure but who knows and but they include says EST which is New York City in the States well oh, that's more or less my time hard to say but anyway let's see but before we truly actually definitely certainly go uh, I'll go and send you guys off to someone else there's so many friends playing games today you can always go out and check uh, Spiker Koning, who's playing some Star Wars Battlefront 2. There's the Zip Phyllis, who's playing some Bioshock Infinite. There's Max Sitter, Max Sitter Gaming, who's playing who's playing some Rainbow Six Siege. Zephyrus is playing more Subnautica. 
Aussie Doggo is playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Kazuma J. Shep is playing Final Fantasy XIV Online, and so is Boring the True Arm. I don't know which one of those delicious boys and girls you guys want to go and check out, but today I'm going to direct you guys to a new friend who is Aussie Doggo. Make sure to say lots of, lots of happy positive things and tell them that Doug sent you. And other than that, I'll be seeing you guys next time. Stay awesome and bye bye.